Marilyn. The only thing to fear is fear itself. This is the way I look at this class after I have survived this living nightmare that is public speaking. <laughs> I would like to share with you some things that I've learned from this class and from my videos, my periodic thoughts, and some humor I hope you will enjoy. First, I would like to show you my reason for being here, and that would be my family. And they're why I've tried so hard and I won't give up. And some things I've learned from this class are more unexpected than I thought because I learned a lot about myself more than public speaking. Um, <clears throat> okay, so watching the videos was definitely my least favorite part. Uh, at the first day, the first day of class, you know how we had to sign those releases? Well, I only didn't sign it because I didn't want to be recorded. But, you know, lo and behold, we had to be recorded and watch that crap anyway, so. Um, but my least favorite speech was my first one, just because it, it was really hard to watch myself struggle through it, but I'm doing a lot better now. And what I've learned from this class is that I'm very, very determined to get my degree because I could have given up at any moment and just said, I'll get my certificate, forget this public speaking class. But I didn't because I <laughs> really want my degree and I really just set that goal for myself and I'm going to, you know, follow through. Okay, so some periodical, periodic thoughts I had for, I did 12 weeks. Week one, I'm so scared to start doing speeches in this class. Hopefully I can make it through the whole course without completely freaking out. Week two, I had my first speech this week. I got so nervous I cried right when the damn thing started. At least everyone was really nice and encouraging. But it would be great to make it through the rest of my speeches without overreacting. Week three, I did speech two this week. I was really nervous, but I didn't cry, so hopefully Dr. Phil was right when he said the course gets easier as it continues, and it surely has. Week four, I've been feeling really overwhelmed lately. I hope I can make it through this class with a beer better so I don't have to go through this hell again. Week <laughs> five, speech three was this week. I found myself inspired by Lady Gaga's speeches because she speaks with such confidence and conviction. If only I were so skilled at public speaking, this class would be a breeze. But I'm not, so it's not. I had, or week six, I had an amazing time trick-or-treating with my family and friends. Now I think it's time to get stuff started on my portfolio. <clears throat> week seven, I did speech four this week. I had to go first, which was a new experience for me, but I liked it because I didn't have to sit there and wait nervously for my turn. Week eight, the quarter's almost over and I still have one more live community speech to go to, and I don't know where to go. I wish these were not requirement for the class because I find them extremely inconvenient. <laughs> week nine, I did speech five and six this week. It made a four week full of preparation, weekend full of preparation beforehand. But I think I pulled it off well. I brought my son as a guest for speech six and I almost immediately regretted the decision to let my old man sleep in instead of making him come and help me with Landon. <laughs> Week 10, this quarter <coughs> is so close to being over, I can almost smell the success. I'm doing really well in all my classes and I'm fairly certain I pulled off an A in all of them. Week 11, this is my last week of Last full week of classes, I have my portfolio speech last day of class, so I've been working hard to put final touches on it. And this week, the last day of, quarter of the quarter is on Thursday. I cannot be happier about it. I made it through this anxiety-provoking public speaking class with a lot of progress toward my skills as a public speaker, though I hope I will not have to use them anytime soon. All right, so now I'm gonna share with you some humor that is very unique to me. <coughs> And I hope you guys will all enjoy. And it's in the form of a demonstration. And as you get two, as there's enough for everybody to have at least two, I'm going to share with you the story of how I learned to smoke Smarties. Um, <laughs> to what? <laughs> just listen. So I was about. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was about. Um, <laughs> About seven or so, and my brother and I went to Oregon to visit my mom, and she, um, we always had a babysitter with her, and the babysitter's family uh, would collect cans, and you can exchange them for five cents a piece in Oregon, right? So we would go and exchange them, and we could get, you know, candy and junk food, 
And for some reason, one day she got Smarties and she taught us how to smoke them. So right now I'm going to show you how to. <laughs> and I didn't grab any, so I need some. Smoke Smarties. It's so <laughs> okay. Wow. So all you have to do, make sure. Whoa, 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 what happened here? Make sure that the opening is at the top, and then you just make sure not to push too hard and rip the package, but you smush them together and crumble them um, until you can see enough powder at the bottom. And what you want to do when you're done sm smushing them is open one end and then and then breathe it in really fast and then blow it out before it dissolves on your tongue. And it's kind of an acquired skill, so you might not get it the first time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a drink of water so I can pull this off without messing up. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you'll be able to see it in the light. Okay, I'm just gonna eat mine. And don't suck in too much because you'll choke on it like, <laughs> Looks better than tobacco. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Probably get a bigger one. Mm. Wow. <laughs> you can see it? Everybody see it? Yeah. So that is a lovely trick I learned, and you can share with others if you feel like it. Oh, um, um, apparently I've not made it through the time, so I'll show you, share with you my other humor story. Um, something funny that happened to me about three years ago when I worked at Target would have been just one of those tragic happenings that just happened, but because of one small detail, it became absolutely hilarious to me. Uh, it was my first day at Target, and I went on my first break, and I went into the bathroom, and I saw what everyone dreads in public bathroom, and that's poop everywhere. <laughs> there was a trail, <laughs> there was a trail from like the beginning of the door until the second stall, and the stall was open, and there was poop all over the toilet and all over the floor, and it was my first day, so I booked it out of there like you wouldn't believe, and got some help, and, <laughs> and the guy that I got to help me said, okay, he'd go help, but uh, I had to go clear everyone out of the bathroom. So I walk in there and the first thing I hear when I get in there is, is a woman shouting, someone shit in the stall. <laughs> and when I looked over to acknowledge the woman and ask her to leave the bathroom, I saw an elderly woman with no pants or underwear on because she was washing them in the sink. <laughs> and that little detail where she said, you know, pointed it out, someone had done it, it was obviously her, just what makes it so hilarious or else it would have just been awful. So <laughs> I came to this class scared to death of public speaking, but I thought, fought through it with relentless determination and came out a better person for it. I shared some unexpected things I learned from this class, my periodic thoughts and unique humor you can share with some of your friends. I've never been so unguarded <coughs> in the classroom, and I have never witnessed so many people do the same. Thank you for your encouragement and kind words. You are a group of people I will never forget. I wish you the best of luck at Clover Park and all, at all your in all your endeavors. <laughs> oh man, that was too much. That was too funny. Mm -hmm. I was too busy enjoying the story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she would scream that out. <laughs> but then again, I would not be in a stall, or not even in a stall, just in the bathroom with yeah, no pants, no anything on, just in public. She, maybe she forgot. Uh, <laughs> well, at least she didn't go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have a here?